Welcome to the morning message for January 11th, 11, 2021. This is a, January is a six in numerolo numerologically speaking. This Thursday <laughs> on um, Patreon, we're going to be doing the live around numerology and opening to intuition and all of those kinds of things. Uh, so I'm talk, I'll talk a little bit more in numerological terms, but uh, January is a six month. Six is about choices, right? The lover's card. It's about decisions and choices you make. And uh, 2021 is a five year, a five universal year, which is about change. All right. So some of you may be making changes to your life. We definitely know that change is being sort of asked of us. Um, Change is definitely being asked of us. So let's see where we go here. Let's see where we go. All right. A leg up. Loyal heart. I like it. I like it. Why? All right. So um, I feel like um, you may be on path uh, with somebody or somebody coming into your life who is going to be helpful to you and you're going to be helpful to them in some way, shape, or form. This person could already be in your life. This person is a loyal heart. I feel like this person is getting you to question a lot in your life. And I feel like the yardstick is about um, what is true for you on your soul path. And I think a lot of us, especially those of us who have been in abusive relationships or been in situations where other people's dark kind of um, um, desires or their belief systems or things that they keep hidden as an agenda. And I do mean that in a very negative way, an agenda can drive situations. Okay. And I feel like, um, now you're being called to understand your own path, understand your own, um, true connection to your higher source, higher self, um, only, you know, only really listening to yourself. And I'm here to say, like, my job is not to have you watch tarot readings for the rest of your life. I want you to open up to your intuition better so that when you see or when you talk of making decisions or making plans in your life and stuff, you know what it feels like to be in alignment with your soul mission and your soul path. Um, there likely are other people on your path or who are, you know, designed there to kind of knock you off because they're toxic. They're low vibration. They are somebody who wants to use your good intentions or your positive, you know, hey, I, I think I'm doing something that's helping people. And they're here to knock you off that path by presenting things to you that are really not in your, um, way of doing things, especially it's going to make you feel a little weird to do them. So uh, I'm here to say that that is, you got to start understanding what's in your, um, what's on your spiritual mission, on your spiritual path and what is not. Okay. And opening up to your intuition is a very, very important way for you to start doing that. All right. Underneath is magician, knight of swords, fool, Four of Pentacles. I have a dog here that's taking up all of the space. Okay. <laughs> He's right behind me. King of Cups. Ace of Pentacles. Seven of Cups. Wow. Page of Pentacles. King Knight of Wands. Sorry. That is the Queen of Wands. Eight of Pentacles. All right. So let me talk about this. I feel like some of you feel really good right now. You feel like you're, you know, and maybe in the past you've been a little bit battling or fighting with this person or this situation in your life, very much battling it and wanting to um, get free of it. I feel like right now you could feel like you're free of something. Um, but in truth, what's going to come from the situation is clarity about what is, uh, what is really happening. And you might be holding on to your own belief systems, holding on to your own um, things that you were told growing up or things that you were told were right, true, 
uh, whatever it is. And you could have someone coming across your path now who may help you figure things out, all right, like a teacher. So I, I feel like there's a little bit of turned aroundness here, okay, Seven of Cups. Like, wow, I really felt like this was the right thing for me. Um, but when I'm doing that out in the world, I'm feeling weird about it. Or I'm, I'm, I continue to, um, um, attract partners who are narcissistic or pa partners who are married. And I keep falling into these patterns. I keep being unable to overcome these patterns. And so I'm going to strike out on my own. I'm going to do something that is really going to upend that. So that's what this Knight of Swords is. Okay. And the fool. And I think in this instance that what's really happening is because everybody's got you such on lockdown your whole life that when you do, like, I'm going to, you know, strike out on my own here, I feel like some of you may fall in your head because you're, you're not really using your guidance, okay? You're seeing what's around you and you're making choices based on what's outside of you versus what's inside of you. I feel like a lot of you may not have access to that yet, okay? You may not know what that is. And so it can get into a place where you're you're doing some things that really are against your own belief systems and stuff like that. And, you know, it's almost like a how did I get here kind of feeling. How did we get to this place? How did I get to this place? And I feel like you have somebody on your path loyal heart. Who's going to help you make sense of this? Okay. Who's a teacher for you, a guide for you, a healer for you. Who's going to, you know, wake you up to, oh, wow, this is something that's hurting people. Or this is something that isn't really in alignment with love. It's not really in alignment with those things. It's not really in alignment with who I am. It's one thing to look back on your childhood and, you know, see the stuff of, you know, uh, well, I was told this as a child and it's not true. Like I was, you know, told I wasn't creative or I was, you know, told that I, I, you know, wasn't going to amount to anything. I told, I was told all these things because of other people's stuff, right? Um, that's what people do. They, they manipulate people. People manipulate people, <laughs> hurt people, hurt people, right? They manipulate people into thinking that they're not smart or talented or funny or loving or beautiful or any of those things because of them. Because if I'm the abuser, I want you to feel like you need me, okay? And I feel like that's what's going on here a little bit, that you, you know, uh, some of you may have been in situations that, you know, you break out of it. You break out of it. And because you haven't really understood yourself very well, you can fall on your head. Because though the intention might be there, that's positive and things like that, um, the practice of it, because it's not really aligned yet, it's not really in the place of, oh, okay, I see what I'm supposed to be doing here. I see my own alignment. I'm going to do something that's, that's important for me. I'm going to fall on my head. So... Some of you are attracting a teacher who truly has a powerful impact on you because it's done from love. It's not done from manipulation. It's not done from a narcissistic need to control you or to get you, you know, sort of in a group think place, to get you in a, you know, a conspiracy theory place, a place where people are, you know, um, telling each other things that, are based in half-truths and all of that kind of stuff. It's not loving behavior. It's abusive behavior. It's not true. And people are subverting their own loving behavior for the sake of something that isn't in their, uh, it isn't uh, connected to their higher self because they've forgotten how to access their higher self. They're lost. Okay, they've forgotten how to access their higher self. So when you see things like that, you know, when you see things like what happened last year in America, if you're not in America, when you see things like that, when you see this and you're like, how does this happen? How do people get into this place? It's because they've lost their way. All right. They've lost their way. And fortunately here on this channel and an Ampress Club, we foster finding your way. 
Okay. So it's not my belief system to have you watch tarot readings for the rest of your life. Okay. My job is here to help you open up to your own intuition. And so people can float through the channel and they get what they need and then they move on. And that's fine with me. All right. You can stay and you can build and you can, you know, this is, if this is something that is um, inspirational to you, because I promise you the intention is love, high vibration. Okay. Okay. Um, so there is a teacher coming across your path. Uh, I could, I can see, um, fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag. I can see cat, a cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. And I can see Gemini here. Okay. And I feel like what's going to happen is that what seemed, uh, especially, um, if you've gotten, you know, pulled into third parties, if you've gotten pulled into, um, you know, twin flame, uh, lower vibrations, uh, you know, subverted twin flame, something that isn't healthy, something that is harmful to you. If you feel like it's harmed you, if you feel like it's toxic and it's, and it's, you know, um, it's not you, right? This isn't me. I don't want to be involved in this, you know, but there's, uh, you know, all this talk about like, wow, you know, you'll know it because it's such a incredible connection and all that kind of stuff. You got to pull yourself into this Aquarius energy, this high vibe energy of like, have perspective. Is this the person I want to be? What I want to introduce me to my parents <laughs> or my former self and let them be part of this. Because a lot of times, you know, you know damn well when something is in your life and you're ashamed of it or it's in your life and you're um, not proud of it or if you're proud of it is it really something um that are you sure it's not defiance are you sure it's not something that isn't um trying to stick a fork in someone else's eye because those things are not loving okay love is patient and kind and generous and it is quiet there's no drama to it really love has very little drama to it real love has no drama to it if it's on the drama path, if it's all those things, then it's something else. Okay. So I feel like this is going to require a lot of learning and a lot of forgiveness of self forgiveness for understanding that, Oh, I maybe have lost my way. I got involved with a narcissistic partner or I have this pattern of third parties or something like that. It's like, you may have held yourself back and not shared these things with other people. Cause there could be shame around it. Okay. There could be a lot of shame around it. And the fact is, you know, that's not the point of life. The point of life is to um, enjoy yourself, be in your highest vibration, share love, share healing. All you guys on this channel who are guides and healers and teachers and shamans and stuff, you know this. Your job is here to hold space for other people in love, not out of fear or out of hate or out of any of those lower vibrations. And you could confuse those things sometimes and definitely I have on my path a long time ago dealing with a narcissistic partner definitely felt that. So, hey, it's understood, okay? But once you awaken to it, you can't unsee it, all right? You cannot unsee it. So I'm going to do a little bit. I'm sorry about the, the sun coming in and just right there. Actually, let's do something about it. Hold on. <laughs> I think I could do something about this. Did that work? It did. <laughs> Isn't lighting amazing? <laughs> Come on. So let me look at these uh, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Aries, Leo, Sag, and Gemini. So if you're dealing with, I feel like I'm talking, who I'm talking about here is the teacher, the person who's coming across your path. Okay. So if you're dealing with a Gemini, You're dealing with a Gemini here. Seven of Pentacles, Five of Cups, Two of Cups, and Ten of Swords. Page of Pentacles and Sun. Okay, so some of you could see this person in another light. Because a magician can be somebody who is um, all about illusion. Okay, somebody who is, you know, making you think it's love and it's not love. All right, and I feel like um, once you see it again, you can't unsee it. 
all right? Once you see it, something is done. And um, there is about there is loss here. It does feel a little bit like um, you're going to come out the other side of this in a much better way, though. Ace of Pentacles, because you're not going to fall on your head. You're going to be like, OK, well, now I see that this relationship or this person in my life was was um, even if they weren't like on purpose trying to hurt me. They're not in alignment with my um, spiritual path. OK, they're not in alignment with my spiritual path. So that's, hey, no judgment, right? You're just, hey, you're, you know, this is just not in alignment my, with my spiritual path. If you're dealing with someone who's a narcissistic partner or something like that, they're definitely not in your spiritual path. You, the, the only part of it that is in your spiritual path is that you see it, you identify it, and you work toward healing it for yourself. That's it. That's it. Okay? That's it. Um, you know, can narcissism be healed? I think there's a, I think the jury is out on that. For me, um, I feel with the things I have read that it is not, especially the further down the, the, the pattern you get, okay, the further, further into narcissistic personality disorder you get. I mean, that's not healable. It's a personality issue. It's not, it's treatable, treatable but boy that person really has to completely subvert that whole personality type and basically what happens is they it, it tears a hole in the time space continuum for them like they it's a, it's a it's a psychic break that would need to happen for them to actually care about other people right and you guys as empaths care about others more sometimes than you care about yourself that's why they glom on to you okay uh, especially this Gemini, I feel like there's something really important to learn from this Gemini. And some of you could be ending a relationship with them, but it brings up something much better for yourself, okay? If you're dealing with a water sign, four of wands over there. If you're dealing with a water sign, woo, holy cow, look what I got here. All these came out. So justice, wheel of fortune, moving towards something that's much more loving, Knight, uh, Queen of Pentacles and the Empress. There's Venus, there's um, Sag. Um, so if you're dealing with a water sign, I feel like this is somebody um, who can present this new path for you. Somebody who's shining a light kind of on like a misdirection or the um, shows you how a previous path was toward this magician, I feel, was, doesn't have to be a Gemini, but some of you have gone toward that that magician and it's um it's like a rude awakening to be like oh wow that wasn't loving to self in any way shape or form so justice wheel of fortune and then we're moving into something much better um i feel like in the world we're moving towards something much better too so seven of cups you're basically um this is the confusion this is the neptunian energy that exists right now that people are confused they, you know, they're, they're wondering if, um, uh, what they're doing is, is right for them. They're feeling, you know, I, I feel like people are a little bit turned around right now. And I also feel like people are waking up, um, to the fact that they've been lied to and, you know, you could be lied to by a partner. You could be lied to by, um, you know, uh, conspiracy theory theorists or QAnon or whatever, you can be lied to in a lot of different ways because that is the nature of it is to get you on a path that supports that. And the only real antidote out of that is to, uh, go into self. That's it. You're your own teacher. I do feel like there's somebody coming across your path though, to facilitate that. Okay. To show you in a little more strong, a little stronger, way um there could be love love having to do with it being like oh wow look at that i was totally turned around by that wow i really thought that i was going down a path that was that was you know uh empowering me but i see how it was disempowering me i see how it wasn't um it was hurting people it was hurting me okay i can see that if i went if i was going down a road of having a narcissistic partner and that person gaslighted me, right? Gaslighting is a thing that narcissists do to make you feel like it's really not that bad. It is that bad, all right? They're harming you. 
but they're trying to make you be the one who's, you know, signing up for it. That's hurtful. And that's long term harm. There's a lot of, of healing that is needed to happen when that happens. So the, the person coming across your path, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, um, I see Sag here and Libra, Taurus. This person is um, someone who's going to show you the benefit of self-care. Okay, the benefit of self-care, the benefit of taking care of oneself. All right, if you're dealing with a, a Aries Leo Sag here, Fool, Nine of Pentacles, can, uh, Chariot Energy, Queen of Cups. It kind of overflows. Remember, I said the Sag here too. So the Fire sign flowing in with the Water sign here, not the Air sign. Interesting, interestingly enough, but the the um, the fire sign here is about, does it, does it um, empower you individually? Okay. Does it empower you individually? Does it help you move forward on your path? And this is the real test for me. Is it truly in your heart? Is your heart chakra awakened and open and connected with light and love? If there's any kind of thing around this relationship that feels like shame, that feels like pain, that feels like I'm being hurt, that feels like I'm not really where I want to be. I used to liken this when I was in an abusive relationship. I used to liken it to, um, it just felt like, you know, how you feel, I'm going to give you a very basic metaphor. You know how you feel when you spend the day in the movies, <laughs> you spend the day in the movies and you eat like lots of gummy bears and lots of, um, popcorn and, and, you know, red vines, licorice and Dr. Pepper and no, nothing against these in moderation, but spending the entire day doing that. And then you leave the theater, right? You've been there for six hours or something like that. And you're like, Ugh. you know that you put stuff in your body that is, has a short term fix. Sugar, right? The sugar, the caffeine, the the, the taste of it, the, the sensing of it, but it's, it's not long-term sustainable. Do you ever see that documentary about that guy who ate McDonald's? No offense to McDonald's, but you know, okay. Um, I wouldn't exactly call it health food. A uh, guy who ate McDonald's 30 days in a row. What happened to his liver? What happened to his body? Right? Everything in moderation. You know, every once in a while, boy, do I love um, having myself a little bit of a, of a junk food pillage, especially during football. You know, that's super fun. Um, but you know, nobody ever worries that they're eating too many green beans. <laughs> okay. Nobody ever worries that they're drinking too much water, although you can drink too much water, but in reality, okay. Nobody ever worries about those things. If you're doing something and you're worried about it. I think we're underestimating in our life in 2021 and 2020, we're underestimating how much stress we're under just by living on this planet. I think we're all really underestimating that. And so coping mechanisms are a little bit going wild here. This person coming into your life shines a mirror for yourself on what's healthy for you. And I guarantee you, it's not 30 days of popcorn and gummy bears and red vines licorice. I guarantee you it's not. Okay. There's Brussels sprouts in there. There's, um, you know, lean meats, there's vegetables, there's water, there's whatever there is. There's exercise there. There's prayer. There's healing work. There's meditation. There's that. And if you feel like I feel better when I do those things, then they're on your path. Okay. If you feel better, if you feel good, like legitimately long-term um, stabilization, supported by the universe, high vibration, joyful. If you feel good by doing the vegetable thing and the meditation and yoga and stuff, then do it. Don't let someone pull you off your path. I feel like there's a new person who's like holding a mirror up to that for you. Okay. Yep, Queen of Pentacles, self-care. All right, so blocks, two of cups, seven of swords, judgment. Coming awake, coming awake to those who have lied to you about what is love. Self-care is the only way, right through your own connection to God. And like I said, I'm not here 
to have you only um, watch tarot readings and it's the voice of the other or the teacher even that is going to be the thing that matters. All we're doing, me and this teacher who's showing up, is showing up a mirror, is reflecting back to you things. And if it resonates with you, that's your intuition. That's really the turning it around, right? And I feel like some of you have been on path on paths that have had people in your life, in relationships, close relationships, that have, you know, subverted that whole idea of what's healthy for you. Okay? So let's see. King of Swords, Seven of Cups, Three of Cups. Celebratory, seeing the confusion, King of Swords. King of Swords doesn't give. Okay, King of Swords is like, this is what's right for me. I'm doing it. Because it's high vibration. It's love. It's done out of love. It's not done of hate or fear or anger or resentment or any of those low vibrations. You can manifest in low vibration just like you can manifest in high vibration. And this King of Swords is like, oh, I see it clearly. Hack it off. Right? Celebration. Celebration for hacking off those kinds of... Um, moments in your life, those relationships that are really not good for you. And I, I can say this about, you know, family members or about friends or about ex-lovers or whatever. I damn well knew when someone was doing something for their own consumption, they were getting something from me. Take, 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 take. You're seeing it now. Clear as day. Aquarius. All right, let's see where we go. Messages to you from your higher self. Hanged man, nine of swords, six of cups, page of pentacles. This is really about seeing things from a new perspective and being like, damn, I got sucked into that. I got sucked into that. I got, it, it's not love. That is not love. Third party situation, whatever it is. And there's plenty. Do, does love exist? Uh, yeah, but there needs to be some kind of reckoning for yourself. Does love exist? in situations that are less than optimal. Sure. But then what's the action that's happening because of that? Oh, wow, this is my true love. Okay, then what are they doing about it? If you're staying in the third party thing forever and someone seems to be getting joy and pleasure out of you being in pain or staying in that relationship, then that's not love. Okay? That's maybe what was you were told love was when you were a child. Again, Chinese food is not pizza. Don't go making the mistake of, oh, I really want, you know, I want some Chinese food. And then we call up Domino's. It's not, again, probably not doing that every day. But that's that's a lie. That's a that's a complete subversion of what, what pizza is and what Chinese food is. It's just not true. Okay? You might have been told something about love when you were a child. It's just not true. Love doesn't hurt. Love doesn't hurt. Okay? Love doesn't. Make you feel shame. Not even a little bit. All right, let's see where we go here. Five of Swords. Chariot. Seven of Pentacles. Two of Swords. One more, please. Three of Swords. Hermit. Okay. All right. So in a lot of ways, some of you may be moving away from things that have been hurtful. Okay, so I do see this, uh, this Cancerian energy here is pretty loud. The water sign... Uh, I feel like some of you are having a water sign coming in in Aquarius time that's going to change the game for you. If you've been on a path that has been, that is not really your spiritual path, okay, things are going to get flipped around, okay? And you're going to move away from things that are low vibration. You're going to move away from things that are manipulative, that are narcissistic, that are... Um, maybe parading as love or parading or, 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 you know, showing up in your life as, oh, this is the right one for me. And really it was, um, this person was just taking and taking and taking from you. Okay. And so is there going to be sadness and loss around that? Yeah. Because, and there's also shame around it. It's like, oh, wow. I thought that was love. Mm, really wasn't. I thought that person was telling me the truth. They were lying to me. Okay. Um, 
seven of pentacles could have invested a lot of time and effort in that and now going into your own inner guidance inner wisdom this person is reflecting a light to you now that could happen in a positive way or a negative way right that could happen in a way of someone coming across your path and living their life in a way that makes you go oh wow that feels really much better to me that is love higher vibration stuff okay when you're looking at someone who's living their life in a gummy bear, red vines, licorice, popcorn all day, you know, kind of low, bleh, low vibration energy, you know the difference. Otherwise, you wouldn't be on this channel. Okay. And some of us have the ability to sort of cloud our judgment or cloud our capabilities of seeing through that because we love that person. We want them to be in high vibration but you're going to see it a lot more clearly and that could be painful. All right. That could be painful that you're seeing someone who you really love and you're like, they're doing something that's sending me down a path of self-destruction. Okay. And that's not love. All right. That's not love. All right. So let's see here. Positive thoughts create positive results. Prayer will help the situation. Let go of fear. Your children are watched over by angels. Okay? Good to know. Prayer will help the situation. All right. You deserve love. Retreat. Religious factors worth waiting for. Okay. So uh, I, I keep going back to some things you may have been taught as a child um, this teacher that's coming across your path or this person, this loyal heart, this person is somebody who has, um, you know, positive impact on you in the end, no matter how you get there. All right. Positive thinking, prayer, focusing on your, um, spiritual path, focusing on, um, being connected to your higher self and really learning what that means. Really learning what that sounds like, what your intuition sounds like, and following your gut. You know, you feel these feelings, you're just ignoring them if you're sucked into stuff over and over and over again. A lot of you on this channel come here because you have had those experiences, and you're on your way toward becoming um, these teachers and healers and guides. And part of this is recognizing, as painful as it might be, People who are in our midst, who are not telling us the truth because of their own stuff, because of their own need for power over us or their own need for take, 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 right? So now it's, it's incumbent upon you to identify this for yourself. Identify what love is for yourself again. Relearn the definition of love. Okay, love, is, love doesn't hurt. Love is not abuse. Love is not lies. Love is not shame. None of those things are love. Okay? I know you know this in your heart of hearts. This is not news. You're being reminded of it right now. In spades. Okay? In spades. All right, my darlings. Mwah. I'll see you tomorrow.